Hey everybody, uh, this is gonna be a quick video um, on how to get the AI painting feature to work correctly in Lumion. Uh, I actually remember when Lumion 10 came out, um, I first saw this and I was like, okay, well, that's actually pretty cool. Like, um, I know a lot of people kind of shit on this one, but I thought that it was like, I just thought it was interesting. Um, while I probably wouldn't give a client to finish like that painting as like a finished product, what I always kind of plan on doing with it is like hiring like an art student or something uh, and paying them like a bit of money just to recreate, like actually paint that again. And it wouldn't have to be perfect, but just kind of like throw something together that looked more or less exactly like this image. Um, and then that could be presented to a client. So um, yeah, it just, it didn't work every time I tried to do it. Like you just get this like blocky mess and you're kind of like, okay, well, you know, this is cool, but like, I can't tell what it is, so what's the point? Um, but the reason is you actually have to go, uh, the, the bigger the picture, the more accurate it's gonna be. So I'm gonna show you um, what the uh, 1920 resolution and what the 8K resolution looks like, just to kind of show you, because again, this is something that you probably won't use a ton, but I do think it's interesting, um, you know, if you got it like, like done like professionally printed and put in a frame you might actually be able to give this to someone um and they would they would really like that like it's something to me that you might be able to see kind of hanging like in a uh in a lobby for like a construction company or something so uh i will just turn off a couple of these that are gonna make it take a bit longer i don't know if this actually really affects that um I don't know if it actually affects the uh, the AI painting that much, but I figured I might as well um, just turn it off just in case. So I'm going to add effect. Uh, we're going to go to artistic and then the AI artist styles. So with this one, I think the one I liked was, okay, it is this one. This is Suzanne. I don't, I don't know what the correct pronunciation for that is, but Cezanne, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, what we're going to do then we have that selected is we're going to go to render. Uh, and then we're gonna do poster. Uh, we don't need any additional outputs for this. So I'll just put this on my desktop and I'll just call this uh, AI test. Now I am gonna speed this up or just skip it all together because this is gonna take about seven minutes to render. Um, so um, yeah, if it, if it takes basically any longer than a couple of minutes then I'll just cut the whole thing out. All right, so this is the final product. Um, it took, yeah, as you can see, it took like four minutes to render. So it's not that bad, but it does actually clean it up a lot when you do it with the 8K. Um, as you can see, like this is a pretty nice image. Um, you know, it would be kind of cool if you could adjust the colors a little bit, but I mean, I guess you could just do that in a photo editing software. Uh, and you know, there are tons of other options that you can do. So maybe I'll include some um, some more, uh, just like options of um, this uh, in the Google Drive. Um, maybe I'll render one of each out just so you can kind of see what it does. Um, but now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to now render out a 1920 so you can see the difference um, of, you know, why you might have thought that this doesn't work. So let's, uh, well, we'll just wait until this one finishes rendering as well. So we'll meet back here in a moment. Yeah. And so this is the final version of this one. Um, as you can see, not really that great. I think the reason why this happens is I could be wrong about this, but I think that the paintbrush stroke sizes are fixed. Like it, that can't be changed. So when you do 8K, those become much more fine and much more precise. But when you only do it with the 1920, there's you can only fit so many of these paintbrushes inside of it. That's why you get this really blurry image because like you couldn't give this to someone. Like you can kind of, like honestly, I wouldn't know that's a car looking at it. And like, I don't think I'd even really know that that's a building. Um, but if we just pop out of this and we go to this image, uh, no, not this one, this one here. So, um, yeah, this one, I mean, that's, that's pretty clear what it is. Like that just looks like a nice painting. Um, and I think that that's something that people would actually really enjoy using. Um, so yeah, that it's a really simple trick. If you want to get it to work, it might, you know, depending on your computer, it might take a lot longer to render, but I figure you're only doing like one, maybe two of these anyways, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, and just for your viewing, um, as I said, you, if you go to the Google Drive and you um, you just look in there, uh, there should be a link below in the video, uh, the video description, then I'll have uh, all nine of the painting styles so you can just kind of see what they'll look like uh, with the same scene. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Um, 
If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you help me out with the YouTube algorithm and you hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, thank you very much uh, for supporting the channel. I've had a lot of fun making videos and uh, interacting with you guys over the last couple of months. So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.